Winter in North Idaho is no joke. Seems like we're either battling snow, or we're battling rain, or we're battling both. One minute we're getting really cold temperatures and lots of deep snow, and the next thing you've got rain and warm temperatures, and you're battling ice dams and breakup. It may sound like I'm complaining about the weather, but I'm not. I enjoy the constant change, and I'm grateful that we have the moisture and that keeps the trees green, feeds the logs into the sawmill. The thing I'm really grateful for is all the equipment. I can't imagine winter without the ability to plow snow or to move snow. These two pieces of equipment are CAT 306 Mini Excavator and the CAT 259 are kind of our bread and butter. We use them for absolutely everything. They are the Swiss Army knives of equipment. The equipment really helps us solve problems and get things done a lot, a lot faster than we could any other way. The equipment lets us clean up things around the house as well as clean up construction sites. Those projects that we're working on through the winter it allows us to keep access opened up so we can get in to work on stuff during these colder months. Without the equipment it would cost a lot more money to try and shovel things by hand. The equipment allows us to move snow and get things open up so we can get into projects and be able to keep work going. Clearing out the snow will open up room and allow us to get a few windows delivered that didn't come with the initial window package. In the next couple of weeks we've also got a door delivery for exterior doors that's coming and there would be no way to get those delivery trucks in if we didn't have this equipment to open up the job site and move things around so that those delivery trucks can get in. I, I think we'll probably have to do a lot more cleanup before the trucks come, but this is a good start in opening things up, cleaning things out. Hopefully the weather will stay warm and things will start to melt a little bit and we can really get things cleaned up. The front of the house here has a concrete porch which will ultimately get a timber frame cover over the top of it. In fact, the trailer here in front of the house has got all of the timbers cut. Uh, we just need to get some warmer weather where we can get the timbers out and build this front porch and get the concrete covered up. But in the meantime, getting the snow out of the way and being able to clean up the ice will help us avoid any kind of ice dams that hold water back that would increase our chances of getting some kind of water into the house. With warmer temperatures in the forecast, 
we felt like now was the time to get the snow out of the way and to chip out the ice and open things up so that there would be less chance of any kind of ice dams building up but if they were to build up that we could get in and get them chipped out before water was to build up. This particular job site is tough. There isn't a lot of room for snow storage. Kind of boxed in being here on, a, on the side of a hill. Cut into the, the hill doesn't leave us with a lot of room. This is the first time we've really done any snow removal since probably the end of November. Temperatures have been really cold and we've, we've gotten some snow but not a lot, not, not, a, not, not enough that warranted digging things out. And even this amount of snow isn't a whole lot that if we didn't have the warmer weather coming and, and the concerns about ice, I would probably not spend the money in snow removal and wait for a few more storms to stack up. But we've got warm weather coming and that means a lot of water and having access to get in is going to be really important. Not to mention we've got a couple of deliveries coming up in the next few weeks that we'll need access for. You can see here we've we've just about got things cleaned up and access to the front of the house really opened up. It's tough. You can see that we're taking quite a bit of snow, but we're also packing out a lot of gravel and dirt. That means wherever we stack up all of the snow is going to be a giant mess in the spring. You wouldn't want to stack this snow up on the front lawn somewhere because come spring when all the snow melts it would be a gravel pile. We've got the snow out and we're down to the ice. Now is the fun part, chipping the ice off of the concrete so the water can run off the porch and onto the gravel. If we can even just open up some channels where water could run, that would really, really help keep that water from backing up to the house.